Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is Ionization Energy from class 9th chapter number 3. So now here, if I talk about atom, you all know very well that atom is made up of electrons, protons and neutrons. So have you ever think that why all these particles are closer to each other. Why don't they move away from each other? Because there are forces of attraction present between them. Two types of forces are present in atoms, attractive forces and repulsive forces. So definitely attractive forces are between opposite charges. Like here, Electron is a negatively charged particle, while proton is a positively charged particle. So an attractive force is present between them. And if I talk about repulsive force, so the force which is present between the same charges like between electrons and electrons or between protons and protons are repulsive forces. Now which type of a force present between electrons and protons? So here that force will be equal to Q1 by Q2 over R square where K is the constant. Now here Q represents the charges. They can be electrons or protons and R is the distance or radius between the protons and electrons. So this charge when apply this force when apply on an atom electrons and protons will come closer to each other. Now what is your opinion? The electrons which are present in inner shells will feel more nuclear charge or the electrons which are present in outer shells? Definitely the electrons which are present in inner shells will feel more nuclear charge. Why? Because they are closer to the nucleus and the electrons in the outermost shell will feel less effective nuclear charge and definitely it will easy to remove an electron from the valence shell of an atom. So that's all concerned with ionization energy. Let's start the topic. Ionization energy. Now here, ionization means that the energy which is required to form an ion. How ion formation takes place? Please memorize it. Whenever an atom loses or gain an electron, it will change into ion. But here we will talk that how atoms will lose their electron which will be concerned with ionization energy. So basically it is the energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from the valence shell of an isolated gaseous atom. Now here whenever an atom lose its electron it requires energy because we have discussed it in previous slide that electrons and protons are attracting each other and they are closer to each other. So whenever we have to remove an electron we have to give energy so that to nullify the attraction between the electrons and protons. So that energy will be known as ionization energy. Now which electron will move out from an atom? The characteristics of electron is that the electron should be present in the valence shell. And what is the valence shell? The shell which is the last shell, outermost shell of an atom is known as valence shell. And here the word is used 
isolated gaseous atom. Now we know that atoms are present very close to each other. In solids and liquids, they are present in bulk form in matter. Now it's very difficult to find out the characteristics of an atom when they are present in a bulk form. So we will take an atom in a gaseous form because in case of gases, the atoms are far away from each other and each atom can be considered as an isolated atom, as an alone atom. So it will be easy to find out its characteristics. Like if I distribute number of candies in a number of kids. So it's not possible for me to find out that how many candies were taken by one or a single child. To know that I have to isolate the kids and then have to distribute the candies. Then I will easily know that how many candies will be taken by a single kid. In the same way Whenever we have to talk about energy, we want to know that how much energy is given to, to remove an electron. So that we have to take an isolated gaseous atom. Here is an example of sodium. Sodium belongs to group number 1. Its atomic number is 11. It has only one electron in its outermost shell. Now how much energy is required to remove one electron of sodium from an outermost shell? It requires 495.8 kilojoule mole inverse of energy and the energy should be positive. Why? because we are talking about required energy. Here the delta represents change and H represents enthalpy. Enthalpy means heat change. So definitely heat is a form of energy. Heat change can be endothermic or exothermic. Endothermic means to gain heat and exothermic means to exit out. To remove heat. Now whenever we talk about ionization energy, we require energy. So it will always be positive. Sodium belongs to group number 1. It will lose its one electron and change into cation. And if I talk about magnesium, magnesium belongs to group number 2. So it will lose two electrons and the charge over it will be positive two. A very important short question used to common exams is that what is the unit of ionization energy? So remember it is kilojoule mole inverse where mole inverse is representing number of particles present in an atom. And kilojoule means that the energy required to do a work. So here we are removing an electron from the valence shell. So the unit will be kilojoule mole inverse. Before discussing the question, you should know that ionization energy increases from left to right in a periodic table. Like if I talk about group number 1, it has 1 electron in its outermost shell. And if I talk about group number 2, it has 2 electrons in its outermost shell. Now what is your opinion? It's easy to remove 1 electron or 2 electrons. Definitely, it's easy to remove 1 electron. And difficult to remove 2 electrons. So when we move from left to right, the number of electrons are increasing continuously as the atomic number is increasing and the ionization energy will also increase. Now the question is, 
why second ionization energy of magnesium is greater than the first one? Here, magnesium has two electrons in its valence shell. When one electron will move out, the number of electrons left behind will be 11. The atomic number of magnesium is 12. So, how many number of protons are present in magnesium? The number of protons will be 12. Now, the protons are more in number and electrons are less in number. So, what will going to happen? Protons will attract the remaining electrons with more force and it will be difficult to move out the second electron. Due to greater nuclear charge felt by this electron from the nucleus. So, that is why second ionization energy is always greater than the first one. Trends of ionization energy in periods. The periods are the horizontal rows from left to right in a periodic table. And whenever we move from left to right, ionization energy increases. What is the reason? The reason is size of an atom reduces and the valence electrons are held strongly by the electrostatic force of attraction of nucleus. So, it will be difficult to remove electron as we move from left to right in a periodic table. If I give you example of period number 2, lithium has an atomic number 3, beryllium has an atomic number 4, boron has an atomic number 5, carbon has an atomic number 6. Now what is happening here? Atomic number is increasing continuously. So, this regular increase in number will increase number of protons as atomic number represents number of protons. The number of protons are always equal to number of electrons. So, when the protons and electrons are increasing, there will be more force of attraction between the electrons and protons which will reduce the size of an atom because shell is not changing. In same period, the shell will remain same, only the number of protons and electrons are increasing. So, the size of an atom will reduce and the valence shell electrons will become more closer to the nucleus. So, it will be difficult to remove an electron when we move from left to right in periods. Now, in period number 2, this is period number 2, the size of an atom is continuously decreasing due to addition of number of protons. What do you think? Electron will easily move out from this atom or it will be easy to move out electron from this atom, neon. Definitely, it will easy to move electron from an atom which is bigger in size because valence shell electrons are away from the nucleus. Trends of ionization energy in groups. What are groups? The vertical rows, sorry, the vertical columns in periodic table known as groups. So, when we move from top to bottom, ionization energy decreases. What is the reason? In groups, more and more shells between the valence shell and nucleus of an atom. These additional shells reduce the electrostatic force felt by the electrons present in the valence shells. So, the valence shell electrons can be taken away easily having low ionization energies. This is group number 1. What is happening in group number 1? In group number 1, 
atomic number is increasing with interval like here lithium is 3 and after that sodium is 11 and after sodium potassium is not 12 it's 19 so as atomic number is increasing with interval to accommodate large number of electrons more shells will be added in groups as we move from top to bottom so these shells will take valence elect electrons far away from the nucleus and as the distance increases between the nucleus and the outermost shell it will be easy to remove an electron from the outermost shell because if the distance increase the force of attraction will decrease between the nucleus and electrons so in that way when we move from top to bottom in groups ionization energy decreases less energy will be required to remove electron from an atom which is bigger in size thank you so much for more videos keep watching